Let's talk about Tale of Tales, which is co-written and directed by Matteo Garoni. Had a big foreign language hit with Gamora a few yes, years back. Toby Jones was telling us about it a couple of weeks ago. Oh, he's so good in this. Um, loosely based on three fairy tales, popularised uh, by the Italian poet in the 16th century, Gian Battista Basile. And it's essentially three stories that intertwine. So three different fables, adult fables, though. Um, these aren't kids' bedtime stories. They're, they're horrific and erotic. And the first one is the story uh, of a queen, played by Salma Hayek, who's desperate to have a baby, follows the advice of a, a strange soothsayer who turns up in, in court one night. Then there's also the Toby Jones story. He's, a, he's also a king who uh, ignores his own daughter's wishes and desires because he is so caught up in caring for, of all things, Simon? A flea. A flea, of course. Um, and then the third story is, is Vincent Cassell's story. He's another royal in, in the region whose womanising ways see him involved with a couple of local crones, I think we can call them, uh, who dream of being young and beautiful. One of whom is Shirley Henderson. She has probably my favourite voice in acting. So here she is in a clip from Tale of Tales. I don't know what happened. I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I had changed my skin. Oh, what do you mean? Oh. I changed my skin. I don't know. I don't know. You're so beautiful. Young. <laughs> From now on, you don't have to worry about a thing. I'll take care of you. Anything you want. It'll be yours. Laura. I have to go now. No. I'll come back. I'll come back. But remember, this has to be our secret. It, it is a beautiful film. They're beautiful to look at, to drink in, the Italian locations, the castles, the forests, the costumes. The cinematography is by a guy called Peter Suchitsky, who's worked with David Cronenberg a lot, and Ken Russell and Tim Burton. And it really revels in that that atmosphere, that medieval atmosphere, so jesters and fire eaters and, and wandering players and magic, a really sumptuous film to look at. Um, also great performances as well. Selma Hayek, it's not a dialogue heavy performance from her. She does a lot of acting through, through looks and expressions really, just little nuances and movement of the eyes. Really subtle and tortured performance. Toby Jones, wow. I mean, not many people could make the story of a man obsessing over a flea believable but he does i think it's a brilliant piece of casting and shirley henderson who we heard in that clip i think ties into that because these shirley henderson and and toby are both character actors and there's a certain eccentricity to about a lot of their performances and they are the perfect choices for this because it is an eccentric film it's a surreal film it's a weird film and you need to get the right people to make that believable and for me, they absolutely did. I think it's got a lot going for it. It is an adult fairy tale aimed at grown-ups. It's not about the franchise or the big audience or the, you know, the um, theme park ride or anything like that. This is grown-up adult fairy tale stuff. It deals with big themes, regret and the consequences of your choices. And it is often shocking. Watching Salma Hayek tuck into the bleeding heart of a dead sea monster is not, not for five-year-olds. And not something you see every day. It's not something you see every day. But I was utterly enraptured by it.